what's going on guys, it's here and welcome to episode 1 of the Burnley career mode. Now, uh, this is going to be a bit awkward. Uh, so, you know when I said last year about, you know, the Burnley career mode, you know, like, I'm going to continue it and, um, <coughs> basically, the reason why I stopped the career mode last year was because I kept on winning all my games. I want to make the series dramatic. I want to make it interesting. But it's kind of hard to make a series interesting when you're winning every single game. When I've not made many changes to the team. So basically, I I just stopped it. And I, I'm so sorry. But I promise this year that I will continue the career mode and do it properly. Welcome, guys, to the most dramatic career mode in the entire YouTube scene. And there's a reason why. Because I put BOOM! And I put BOOM! And I thought, wait, 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 boom, boom, there you go, and boom, there you go, another one. There's explosions everywhere, it's amazing. So if you guys are looking forward to the burn the career mode, let's smash 3,000 likes. If you guys want episode 2 to be out as soon as possible, I will get it out the next day. If you guys do smash that, it really does mean a lot, guys. And I I love career mode. One of the first things I've ever done as a YouTuber was a Burnley Cooper back in FIFA 13, then did one back in FIFA 15, and then 18, and then 19, and then now it's 20. Seven years since my first ever Burn the Career mode. So with that said, let's get into the FIFA 20 Burn the Career mode. So let's get into it. So manager career, um, you know, been off the player career part. And then let's go select our manager now. Which one of these looks like me? Um, none of these. I mean, there's a woman there. And you know me, I respect women. Oh, I do. Oh, I respect them. I respect them a lot, I must say. None of these guys look like me, though. I mean, like, I, I mean, that guy's got a nice hat. And I, I, I like hats. Make a manager that best shows your style my style so so this is based on style well i mean if it's based on style tracksuit you know brexit does mean brexit my first name will be mike peen mike peen is this guy's name don't get any ideas his name is just mike peen please don't laugh he he, he doesn't like it when people laugh at his name his name is mike peen look at his face man he looks so sad his name is mike peen okay so we've got um We've got a whopping 15 different faces to pick from here. 15 faces. Oh my god. <laughs> what is that? I, I I don't know. That they all look rather rather concerning. Man, why does he look like a character from like Sesame Street? Let's go with this guy because his nose is big. He's got a big nose. That's the most important thing. His name is Mike Peen and he likes Coca Pops. Yeah. See, you, you see the little smile there. Oh, he loves it. He loves it, man. Torn and complexion. I mean, I must say that I am definitely not that torn. Oh my. <laughs> he looks like a fish. <laughs> he looks like a fish. What? Oh my god, now he looks like he's dead. So I am, as you can tell, you know, a white male. Like, look at this man. I look like a ball sack. I'm gonna go with this one because it makes me look a bit more human. Um, please just allow me here, guys. Eyes, I mean, am I gonna bother here? Just gonna go with that one because he looks like he's just walked in on his parents doing some very aggressive, um, aggressive things. Is this his eyes? Oh my god, he looks like he just took a bag of cats at least first. He looks so scared <laughs> Help me help me. What's the biggest nose you've got mate? Come on. Give me the biggest I want to see some real real snozzes here mate. Ah, oh, that's a snoz. Yeah, there you go Accessories, okay. This is the real reason why I bought a new version of FIFA because I want to wear a hat so I can wear a bubble hat or a black bubble hat or I could wear maybe a Policeman a police hat I, Why have I always got a ponytail so I can also have girl hair <laughs> I'm a guy. Oh fam. I just I just took from Mike Peen to Michelle Peen in this <laughs> What? This, this just doesn't, this just doesn't know. Oh, mate, screwed up in the career mode. I'd rather be in here the entire time. Damn, girl. You look weird. Oh my god, is that Zlatan? You can just have normal short hair, which I guess makes sense, but that's boring. I want a hat. Let's try out this. Yep, I look like I'm about to stab your nan. Wait, now I look like I'm about to stab your nan. Beige your hair, uh, I mean, I've got a bit going. I'm not completely, you know, 
ha your hairless, to be fair. As of right now, I don't, but if I actually shit, like, grow it out, I don't, I don't really like going out that much. So, I guess this will suit me even more. So, outfits, yes. Oh, baby. Is this The Sims or something? Is this The Sims? I can't tell. If we are going to be Mike Peen, then we only need one piece of footwear, and that's some Reeboks, baby. These are the most freshest Reeboks on the market, my man. Absolutely, £9.99 from SportsDirect.com. But by that, I mean the man outside Sports Direct. His name is David, and he has a nice beard. And here you go, guys. Here is Mike Peen. Treat him well, guys. Dude, I've recorded 12 minutes just doing that. Okay, so, of course, Burnley is our team. And we've got 23 million um, transfer budget, which is quite sad, considering... Um, I mean, look at everyone else's. I mean, we've got the same as Newcastle, same as Norwich, um, more than Sheffield United. Um, who else has got less than us? We are, I think we got, I think the third, like, most poorest team in PPL right now. It's quite sad. Uh, but anyway, this is the expectations. Um, the only thing that I guess is, you know, to keep an eye on is financial. You don't care about domestic success at all, apparently. Don't get how that's a thing, because I don't think the board would be happy if we just, you know, just bin off the Premier League, but okay. So this is where I need your guys' help. Shall I go ultimate to start off with, or shall I go to legendary? Now, I feel like this year is it's going to be harder to play FIFA, I think. It'd be a bit more of a skill gap so I feel like ultimate will be like really really hard and I mean like nil no draws maybe maybe we'll lose like three no I don't even know so you guys can tell me down below in the comments and uh, there'll be a poll down below in the comments guys please feel free and be involved vote for legendary or vote for ultimate for the first game of next episode which should be very soon you guys decide man because I don't know what I don't know man I mean for right now, I'm going to say Legendary. I mean, I'm, I won't play a game yet, but you guys decide. I'm going to go um, five minute halves. And there you go. Our career mode journey as Burnley manager as the big man, Mike Peen, is ready to go. Big up Mike Peen. What a nice guy. What a, I, I, heard he's, I heard he makes fantastic coffee. So, guys, tell me down below as well. Who are you doing your career mode with? Is it your own club? Like, you know, if you support United, are you doing, are you doing United? Or are you doing an RTG like Salford? You guys tell me down below in comments because I'm interested to see the majority of what most people are doing. Um, I'd imagine it's your, your main team because, you know, bigger Burnley. But you never know. If you guys do like this and, you know, we become a career mode channel, I may do more like, you know, I may do more career modes. You never know. Or more experiments as well. So, um, first things first, decline that. I mean, who actually plays it? I know that it may help you out, but that it's just long. Okay, I can't be bothered. So, let's go. We are now in the menus. But yeah, there's a lot to go through here. So, let's go and look through the team. But first things first, we have got some news in an inbox. So, we've got a video Vision and expectation email. So this year they hope that we finish mid table. Uh, we reached the round of 16 in the FA Cup, and then uh, we grow one youth academy player. That'd be a bit annoying, not too fair. But the, but the most important thing is a mid table finish, which I feel like we should be able to do. But again, I just don't think I'll be that good this year, so I don't know. Well, let's go through the team now. I don't think there'll be any signings um, in this episode because I want you guys to kind of help me out because I'm I'm kind of considering. Because in the last two years, I've bought Martial in my in both my career modes, right? Which I don't want to do that again because I feel like it's a bit boring. And because we are Burnley, I kind of only want to sign either British players uh, or players in the English leagues, right? So pretty much any British or Irish players. So, so I feel like that makes more sense. But anyway, this is a team. So so welcome 4-4, four, four, bloody 2. So Ashley Barnes, Wood up top. Got Dwight McNeil, Jack Cork, Westwood, Johan Bergman, Sir. Lauter as a right back, Tarkowski, Ben me, Eric Peters, and Nick Poppingall. Got Jay Rodriguez, Drink Water on Lawn, um, Robbie Brady, Hendrick, Charlie Taylor, Phil Borsey, Joe Hart, and then the bench. Um, the four still here. I will get rid of him because he's now no longer Burnley. He left us like um, less than a week ago now. So I will, I will get rid of him. Don't worry about that. But yeah, that is the team. So again, if you look at pace wise, I mean, it's not great really. Um, if you care about pace, we've got the likes of, you know, Barnes, who's got 64 acceleration, Wood, 65 acceleration, Westwood, 63 acceleration, um, Cork, 52. McNeil, our winger with 75. Uh, Gummerson, our winger with 75 again. Loughton, 68. 
Tarkowski, 55. 60 acceleration for Ben Me. 65 for our left back. And I, I can't I, I can't be bothered. I feel like this would be very, very hard. For the way the gameplay is done this year, I feel like it'd be really tough because, like, we've not got very agile players. And I feel like having a good agile team really helps you. So it's going to be a tough, tough, tough career mode, man. Honestly, I mean, I would not be surprised if we have, like, an, a relegation battle year here, man. Of course, our main players being the likes of James Tarkowski. Kowski, as I said, like, and also him and Ben Me, these two will be the main two, as I said, like, Perry, because they are very good in real life and also in game. In midfield, our main players will be Dwight McNeil. Um, of course, he is a youngster, 19 years of age, a good friend of the channel as well, and he's been given a pretty nice boost this year. He still has a lot of potential. He'd be a main man to keep the team for the future. And up top, how can we forget the man Ashley Barnes? This House himself, um, he's, he's, he's a lovely man, of course, now English, no longer Austrian, okay, he's English, he's born in Bath, okay, he's born in Bath, man, don't get it twisted. So these are the main three players to have in our team and to keep a hold of, and again, I'm thinking, who can we go sign? Um, a few players that, a few players that we were linked with in the summer were the likes of, no one actually, um, I was gonna say we were linked to, you know, this player, this player. We wasn't really. We were actually willing to no one. It's quite sad. I believe it's a new dawn. It's a new day. And it's a new Burnley Football Club. Guys, smash a like button if you're looking forward to the Burnley career mode. I think this is going to be very, very tough, man. And I'm not looking forward to it. So, okay. So, we have got our first player chat here. So, Ben me, you know, being very nice, you know, welcoming me to Burnley Football Club. How you doing, son? I'm going to say, excited, for, as, excited about the future. We've got work to do. Oh, nice to meet you too. I mean, I guess I want to be kind of nice and be like, you know, like if the first thing I say is like, oh, how you doing, boss? We've got work to do. I think that won't be ideal. So like, let's go with uh, nice to meet you too. Happy to work with you, Ben. Send my regards to the rest of the squad. He seems happy. See, he's got a happy thing. He's got a very big happy thing there. That's great. He didn't say anything else, though. I don't know why. Is there a morale screen? There must be, right? There must be, there must be like, a morale screen. Now you can see, like, everyone's morale and, like, previous history. There must be, right? There must be. I guess it's here you can find out, like, where most people are at. So, Ben Me is the only person right now that's happy. So... I mean, that's the most important thing, really, isn't it? So let's look towards the start of the season and let's see who we've got coming up. So, skip ahead, and we have got Southampton. Okay, so it's actually done on the real life games, which is quite nice. So we've got Southampton um, at home, just like real life. Arsenal away, Wolves away, Liverpool at home. I need you guys to decide two things for next episode. I want you to decide shall we only sign British players or British and Irish players for the first season of the Billy Cream mode? Because that is realistic. We're Burnley, we don't really sign many players from abroad, so like it doesn't make sense to sign Lozano like we, like, like we did last year. I don't think that makes sense. And number two, should we go either legendary or ultimate? You guys may have already tried ultimate or legendary, and you guys may know that ultimate is like impossible to play against. So you guys tell me. But guys, smash a like button, subscribe if you're new. Let's hit 200,000 subscribers. It will honestly mean a lot, guys. And let's hit 3,000 likes for the first episode of the Burnley Crew Mode. Hopefully, you're looking forward to it. And with that said, thank you watching my name is because I'll see you this time hold me close till I get up time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left the storms we chase are leading us and love is all we'll ever trust